I thank you, dear Lord, for blessing me today. I thank you, Lord God, for giving me my health and my strength in the wonderful name of Jesus. Now, Father God, as I come before you now, I pray that right now that Holy Spirit, you would have your way in the service. My prayer is that you would be firing my hands and firing my feet and firing my belly and firing my mouth in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I think that I would be able to decree and declare your word with all power and authority. Lord God, I know that your word is already anointed. So, Father God, I thank you for your word. Now, Lord God, as I pray that I would continue to see decrease so that, Lord God, you would increase. My prayer is that, Lord God, that I would continue to profess my faith. That Vicky died. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And we said amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say expose. Expose. Turn to your neighbor on the other side and say expose. Expose. Oh, about to get tight. About to get tight. Oh, Lord, have mercy. We're about to reveal something. Hallelujah. Yes. Like that. I expose. Woo. <laughs> you know how important it is to walk in the light. Hallelujah. How many of you know that it's very blessed, it's good to be walking in the light? Amen. Yes, yes. Lord. It's good to be in the light. Uh, the Lord God pulled us from out of darkness. Amen. Amen. And now that we're in his light, we should not ever want to go back to the darkness. Amen. Yes, Amen. Uh, if you're taking any notes, uh, the title of tonight's message is Stay in the Light. Ooh. Ooh. Come on now. Wow. Yes, Lord. Lord. Stay in the light. You gotta learn how to stay in the light. Come on now. These are dark days and dark times, but you can stay in the light. Yes, yes, People of God, as we come together today to celebrate and give God glory mm -hmm. and give Him praise and honor, I'm here to tell you that you must stay walking in God's light. That's why we're in the book of Matthew. Did you get there? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew, the word of the Lord God tells us that we are Matthew chapter 5. Amen. Sorry, I didn't tell you the chapter. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 5. We're going to be beginning at verse number 13. Amen. Thank the Lord. Word of the Lord God says in Matthew 5, 13, it says, You are the salt of the earth. Amen. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then what? Good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. Verse 14 is our key verse. Nor do they light a, la a lamp and what put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before all men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Come on now. I'm going to tell you, stay in the light. I'll tell your neighbor once again, stay in the light. Stay in the light. It is so important that you learn to stay in the light. The Bible tells us that we are called salt and light. Amen. We are the salt of the earth. I'm going to tell you that it's good to be a salty saint in the yes. name of Jesus. I don't, don't give me that sweet talk. Huh? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sweetness turns things rotten after a while. Too much flattery is not too good. Am I preaching up in the right house? I don't need nobody to tell me how good I look. And how to, you can keep that, baby. I don't need that. I know. I want you to know that you're going to get the salt of the word, which is the word of God. It will season well because if you're not a salty saint, the Bible says you're what? Good for nothing. Wow. Ooh, good for nothing. If you don't have a word, when somebody comes up to you, you should be able to have something to tell them. Like, God bless you. Amen. That's, do you realize how much you season somebody just by sharing, saying, oh, God bless you? Some people don't hear that every day. You know, we're around church people a lot, so we hear it a lot. What about yes. somebody who's not saved? Amen. How many times did they hear, God bless you? Oh, you know what? I'm praying for you. Amen. Amen. And you don't just hear it on the street anywhere. You don't know to get anybody to turn around and just say that they're praying for my right about Amen. Ask somebody on the street corner. Am I preaching up in the right house? Amen. Amen. You Preach got pastor. somebody standing on the corner. Go to that brother, that sister, that body's crack house. Do you how many times do you ever hear somebody tell them that they're praying for? Yeah. Very rare. Yeah. But the Lord God says you are the salt of the earth. Amen. Come on, you're the light of the world. And you're supposed to bring light into dark places. And I'm here to tell you that God says, let your light show signs. Don't keep trying to hide it. So if you're saved, stop trying to act like you're not. All right. All right. All right. You're like, I'm not doing right. that. Wait a minute. You know, some people like to try to fit in. Yeah. All right. Uh, See that? Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. You know, you try to fit in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not going to try to fit in. If you're a child of God, you shouldn't be trying to fit in with anybody. Amen. You know what? You're, you're a peculiar people. You won't be liked by many people. You're not going to have too many friends. You know Yes. Come on, 
Come on, let's yeah. right. people, people handle you differently. Mm -hmm. yes. They talk to you differently. Yes. They don't yes. talk to you like any average person. And you shouldn't try to want to damper your light in order to fit in. I'm trying to free somebody up in here. Right? Yes, Lord. Because you know what the Bible said? Yeah, you, you know what? What God desires that none should perish. Am I right, Father? Yes, Lord. But I'm here to tell you. Let God do the pulling in me. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You just, you walk, don't, don't you go back and I'm going to say, well, I'm going to help them out. Come on now. Because mm -hmm. if you're going to go back and roll and all that drugs, Jesus. hanging out, yes, drinking, Lord. pouring, you know, you know the devil got his trap set. Oh, oh yeah. Back yeah. Over there. Yes. Preach, Pastor. Preach. Preach. Shut up. Yes, Lord. Woo. That's all right. Because you know, you just got delivered yesterday. Ah, yes. If I'm preaching up in a place, yes, we're talking about exposure. Yes, Lord. Yes. We're talking about exposure. Don't sit up in here. Jesus. Like you just came in over the little halo. Like, oh, come on. Everybody got delivered from something. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I did Amen. something. Oh, yeah. yes. Some yes. things, and yes. some of us still doing something. All right. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we're about to expose some secret faults of the Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes. Yes. Lord. Wait a minute. I told you, so out to name yes. Yes. In the name of you, but you must understand that what God is saying is that you don't have to go back into your old lifestyle in order to get them saved. The Lord God said, you know, make them raise the bar. Come Amen. on, tell it. If you want to hang with me, this is what I do. Amen. I serve the Lord. I yes. praise the Lord. Preach I say Pastor. glory to God. Thank you. Hey, service. I'm wearing this hat. And every time you do open Amen. Right I'm there. If you want to get with me, you got to get with that. Yes, Lord. Right. We're talking about the soul and the light. Amen. Come on now. Yes. And most people don't like that. But I'm going to tell you, I'm, we're living in these last days. Don't compromise your life. Don't compromise. Don't just choose to like, well, I'm going to just, just because that makes them, make me a part of a clique. You know, they got a lot of brothers and sisters that I know dearly. That, you know what, and I love them truly and they're going straight to hell. You know why they're going straight to hell? Because they're connected to certain type of cliques and organizations that don't believe in God at all. Some society. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah, I know that message going to be preaching that. They probably might delete it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called a secret society. Yes, Lord. But I'm a part of the kingdom of God. Yes, Lord. Preach, Pastor. You don't need to be in secret when you're Yes, Lord. Preach, Pastor. You know what? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. represent the cross. There's no secret. Preach, Pastor. Hallelujah. No, you don't even like that. And so they figure that that gives them some clout. But I'm here to tell you, I don't care how many people they got on their side. God says there's more on your side than there's on the enemy's side. You do not even realize God said that there's more angels on your side than there are on the enemy's side. You stay walking in the light. As long as you stay in the light. Tell your neighbor, stay in the light. Stay in the light. Hallelujah. You must understand that you've got to stay in the light. I'm saying that because it's too easy to slip into darkness. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. It's too easy to slip in the dark. As much as you say, look, let's not get too high and mighty. Let's, let's, let's stay in tune now. Amen. Let's not think that you can't be fooled. Right. Jesus, Amen. preach, Pastor. Yeah. Preach, Pastor. Stay too long. Woo. Mm -hmm. I go to church all the time. Ah. That's the one that they were after the most. Jesus. The one that be on the front row, no pun intended. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Preach, Pastor. No pun intended. That's why you was watching that front row. I saw you. Yeah, no pun intended. Because you, you're like, oh my God, Mark, 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 Mark. So that's all right. Hallelujah. But it's so true. Yes, Lord. It's so true. The enemy is after the people of God. And you know what? We should not get discouraged with that. But I'm saying that they don't. Don't let your light go out. Amen. Yes. You amen. gotta stay amen. in the light because it's real easy to slip into old habits. Because some of us still need deliverance. Am I preaching? Amen. Praise, praise some Lord. of us still need to be delivered yes, in some Lord. You know what? I, I'm just gonna use nicotine, and I, I hope anybody who smokes in here, you get delivered tonight. Amen. In the name amen. of Jesus, we can call it out right now. But we're supposed in the to name of Jesus. Right yes, Lord. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, I'm Lord. just saying that if you are, uh, if you were addicted to nicotine. And then you're set free from it. Why would you go into a place? Who smoke? Jesus. Struggle. Yes, Lord. Woo. Preach pastor. Struggling. Preach pastor. And you just got delivered. Jesus. Yes, Lord. You're Preach pastor. To, you just got delivered from it. Oh, I'm praying my prison up in the right. You just got delivered from it. So why would you put yourself in there? I'm using oh, that as, a, as an example so that way you can see. Yes. If you got delivered, yes. why would you associate yourself yes. with something that was going to pull you back into that thing? Yes. Yes. The same thing with pornography. Yes. Oh, I'm not preaching about yes. it right now. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why would you hang around somebody who's looking at something?
something that they shouldn't be looking at. Jesus. And you know the Lord just delivered you on that. First pass. And then there you go. Let me see. Mm -hmm. What you want to do? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's going to lead you back to hell. Yes, yes. Yes. So now, That's your pastor. ticket to get back to where you came. And I'm here to tell you, the Bible says, once the spirit leaves, when it comes back and find it swept clean, it comes back seven, seven times worse. Woo! So you thought you had trouble getting rid of that thing the first right. time. Woo! I'm trying to help somebody. Didn't we just right. learn how to say you like a reset? Reset. 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 That's how I was on last week. Yes. Yes. Because if you thought you had trouble yes. this time yes. getting delivered, yes. if you mess around, I'm trying to help some of y'all. When you feel urged, you need to start backing away and start, you know what, speak the word. Yes. That's the only thing that's going to make the devil leave. All your right. crying is not going to stop the devil. All right. right. I'm going to tell you, you're crying, and, and you know what, you're watching your tears just like that. God's watching. Uh -huh. But it's not going to stop. Preach him. past. Just say, I rebuke you right now. In the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. If that's all that you know, you know, yeah, yeah, you can put scripture with it because you got to give the enemy the word. Yes. That's, that's the only right. thing that's going to stop him. But Amen. if the only thing you know is, I rebuke you in the name of, well, then yes. rebuke him in the name Amen. of, say, you got to get thee behind me, Satan, in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Tell him, it is written. Yes. That God says, I'll set free. He who the Son is set free is free indeed. Amen, Lord. You're going to have to learn to get into your B-I-D-L-E. Yes. Amen. It's going to have to be your best friend. Yes. If you want to stay delivered, if you want to stay in the light, I'm going to tell you there's no other way. There's no other way to stay in the light. And I'm trying to tell you that that's what God is talking about. In order for you to stay in the light, you got to make sure that you're not, you know, don't get caught up. Don't go backtrack. Don't get caught up in the things you used to do. If you're one that the Lord delivered your mouth, Jesus. Preach, Pastor. <laughs> Am I preaching in the right time? Yes. Some of them got some, they got, they got lip area, they got lip itis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that thing yep. say loose all the time. <laughs> if you don't put a bridle on it, it almost take over you sometimes. <laughs> you don't even know what you mean. You've been talking about yourself. I don't know. I don't know. You're talking by yourself. Lord, preach, Pastor. Preach. I know some people got free up in here. Yes, yes Lord. Out. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> that if you just got delivered in that area, then why would you hang around somebody who likes to lie a lot? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. They like to lie. Preach, like, Yeah, they like to lie a lot. Everything. Oh, 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 oh let me help you out. Oh, they not. They exaggerate all oh, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Preach, 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 Preach past. I don't care how I mean, if it's not exactly the way it is. It's not exactly the way it is. It's exactly a lie. Let's just put a little handkerchief over. Let's just fold that demon. It's called a liar. That's right. Matter of fact, the Bible says a lying wonder, and the truth is not in him. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So if the Lord delivered you from that, then why would you hang yourself around individuals that like to that like to you know say those foul words? Come on now. We're talking about being the salt. We're talking about being the light, I should say. And God says he wants you to walk in the light. He said that you should not be hidden. Stop trying to hide your light. You love God. Tell someone I love the Lord. Yes, Lord. You know what? Preach I'm not going up there. What's wrong? What I'm praying tonight. You do what? Yes. I'm yes. praying. P-R-A-Y-I. Yes, pray. Lord. Yes, tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, can you call me later when I'm done? Pray. Yes. Come on, yes. in the name of Jesus. You know, yes. holiness is not a curse word. Uh, Amen. Am I right Amen. about it? Preach, holiness is not a curse word. And let me tell you something. Holiness is not the length of your dress. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes. Preach, Pastor. Yes. I don't care. You can wear Preach, but Pastor. You cannot even see my toes. Preach, That's Pastor. We got some devils walk around with that. Yes, Lord. Come on, Come on. Preach, I, Pastor. I, you know, yes. it's Ooh. the middle of the side of your heart. It's not the garment yes. of your clothes. Yes. Yes. I'm going to tell you, God's not in the garment. <laughs> right. He's in your heart. Come on now. So you know what the Bible says? Come as you are. Am I right about it? Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You come with some tennis shoes, some rag, and dad dads. Come on now. But you come with the right heart. God says, I will dwell with thee. Amen. Yes, Amen. I will dwell with thee. Amen. So you come with the Amen. Yes. I can't see my toes. And oh my God, you're whitewashed too with dead men bones. Jesus. You're going to pray through a city laid in front of you. But then yet you look like you hold it. Right now. Jesus. Come on now. Jesus. I'm trying to preach, say, you know preach. Walk in the light. Yes. Yes. And exemplify the light. Don't try to hide it. Yes. You don't have to hide out some say clothing is not your it's not gonna be your tell all. Yes. Come on, some people get fooled by clothing. Amen. Amen. Oh. Amen. Oh. Preach pastor, preach. But they see somebody looking yeah. the worst. Yeah. And they figure they ain't got Amen. Amen. Right. Preach pastor. Preach pastor. Yeah. 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 
Hallelujah. Little to that. I said, look, don't be fooled by the exterior. Yes, Lord. Don't, read, don't judge a book by its cover. Amen. Amen. You don't know, read the pages before you know what's going on. That's right. Hallelujah. Maybe in a small package, but I'm big and Yes, Lord. I'm going to read my pages first. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you must understand. Tell your neighbor, stay in the light. Stay in the light. Tell your neighbor, just like, stay in the light. Stay in the light. We're going to get some more scripture. The Lord God wants you to stay in the light. That's the reason why he's saying to stay in the light. Because when you stay in the light, things get exposed. Amen? All right. Things get, you know what? Only, only, only mature Christians like to walk in the light. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because mature, mature Christians know when you stay in the light, something about to be exposed. Amen. 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 You know what? I'm here to tell you, whenever God exposes to heal, when the enemy is to expose it, it's to put you under. Amen. Come on now. So whenever you come to the house of the Lord and God reveals something to you in the house and you're in the house, glory to God. You know, yes. it may be something that you didn't tell nobody. You're like, Lord, yes. no, I was working with that bitterness. Help me, Jesus. You know, you didn't tell nobody, but the Lord God said, I see that. And you know what? Nobody's going to look at you foul in here because you came to the right place. Because God said, I come to deliver you. I come to set you free from that. But you're wondering why stopping your blessing. You're wondering why you haven't gotten your breakthrough just yet. It might be just because you're a little bit bitter. All right. In the name of Jesus. A little bit bitter. Amen. The Lord God said, but whenever he exposes that, Inside of you, in the house, the Lord God said it's to bless you, to elevate yeah. you, to bless you. But see, you know what the enemy will do? The enemy will, will like to show it off on the outside. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, you know, she don't like you, man. Yes, yes, yes. Make you bitter. Why? She don't like the way you dress. Oh. Yeah. She's just bitter. She thinks she all that. Preach, Pastor. I, I got to take it wrong. Yes, because, you know, even a baby got me. Oh, yeah. We're talking wrong talk. We're time out for play. You didn't have play time. No more recess. Yes, right. yes no Lord. Preach, Pastor. Amen, amen. You must understand that God says, you know what? Not anymore. Amen. You're not afraid. <laughs> when you walk in the light, don't be afraid for God to reveal some things about you. Amen. Right. Amen. You can turn up and say, Lord, and don't be looking around. His name must be her over there. No, it's she. <laughs> That's right. Amen. But you have a tendency to say, Oh, they must be praying by somebody else. Uh, no, the Lord said, I'm talking to you. Amen. You don't want to walk yes, along with yes, that demon. Yes. Get it all in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. But see, when you're walking the light, you realize you're like, Lord, I want to be set free from that. Amen. And I'm Amen. saying that to give somebody some freedom up in here. Because in case you think that, you know, everybody, and I say that all the time, everyone has something that they're dealing with. Yes. Right. This Amen. is called the hospital. Amen. That's why we come in. We come Amen. in sick. Yes. Yes. We Amen. come in sick. Some of Amen. us lame in our bodies. Some of us in our mind, our hands, our emotion, our yes. heart. Some of us coming in. We barely made it tonight. Amen. Yes, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Oh, hurt, bro. But we smile. But the Lord God said, I see that. Yes, Amen. Lord. I see your pain. Amen. And I know how hard it was for you to get here tonight. Amen. I know that it was a struggle for you. And the Lord God said, I come to heal you, but He comes to expose it. He comes to yes, tell you, say, I see this. You know what? God gives you a diagnosis. He said, uh, You came in and you got this, that, this, that, and the other. And I'm going to heal this, that, and this, that, and the other. Yes. You see, He gives you a diagnosis and a prognosis all at the same time. Yes, Lord. Somebody better get that one. The doctor will give you a diagnosis and a prognosis. And a diagnosis all at the same time. Jesus. See, when you come to the doctor, they give you, oh, I think that you have this. But the Lord God said, I give you a prognosis. You will live and not die. Yes, Lord. You will have the victory over that demon. Yes. Somebody better get, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 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 Get that in. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because surely yes, enough, you must understand that the enemy comes what to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. Says, I want you to stay walking in the light. Mm. I have another passage that I want you to turn to in the name of, in John chapter 8. We're going to the uh, St. John, John chapter 8, verse 12. The Lord God makes it really, really plain. It tells you in John chapter 8, verse 12, the word of the Lord God says, He who follows me, we're talking about the Lord Jesus, will not walk in darkness. In the name of Jesus. Lord. So you want he who follows me. We're talking. My, my Bible has a capitalized, the meaning Jesus. I believe that that's a red letter right there. Uh, Jesus is speaking. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of what light? Not light. Not light of life. Do you know that there's life and power in the light? Hallelujah. My God. 
You must understand that God said that, but if you're not following Jesus, I'm giving you that nugget right there because you can't just haphazardly walk your Christian walk out. You've got to follow the Lord. Come Amen. on now. You know, I know you want to follow a whole lot of different things, but you yes. want to follow Christ. Yes. Because he's the only one that's going to give you life. Amen. Because he will give you life. He said, them that follow will not, will not ever walk in darkness. Amen. And I want you to know in Psalm 23, it says, Yea, do I walk to the back of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil. But you know what? He didn't say, I'm staying in the shadow. I walk through the shadow. Amen. Praise God. God says, I'm a God of light. I don't want you to stay in the shadow. Praise you know, A shadow is a casting of darkness. Jesus. On the Amen. Yes. If you don't know what a shadow is, a shadow, yes, Lord, Lord, I can yes, preach right there. Yes, a shadow preach means that you have light, but all of a sudden darkness shows up and casts a shadow. Amen. That's not good, people. Oh, That's not good, people. Hallelujah. You're in light and a shadow shows up. Jesus. You're in light in or, and a shadow. That means Amen. something dark comes and it casts it out and you're in that shadow. You better get out of that. The Lord God says, you will walk through it though. Amen. You will Amen. walk Jesus. through it. He didn't Hallelujah. tell you that. My point I want you to know is that God said you can walk through it. You're not supposed to sit there and reside in it. And the Lord God says, those that walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Amen. It's a shadow. You don't have to stay there. Death, darkness. Come on. What, what, don't, what are you missing? Amen. Darkness and death. What are you missing? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You must understand that God says, I want you to operate in the light for you to stay in the light. Surely enough, the enemy is surely enough after we're in spiritual warfare one-on-one. -on -one. Amen. Amen. In case Amen. You didn't it. Amen. We're in a fight for your life. I don't know. You're, yes, you you're in a fight for your life right about now. But I want you to know that God says that you got the victory. When I was praying, giving God glory and praise and worship, I kept hearing the Lord God say, touchdown. Yes. Man. Touchdown. Is that, if you don't know what that means, touchdown, that means you've already got the field goal. That means you yes, got the Lord. victory. Well, well, I don't know, but let me, let me just make a little seat up for you right here. Whenever the Lord gives the word touchdown, that means whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been going through, the Lord God said, you guys got score, touchdown. It's just got the victory. In the name of Jesus. Lord, that's a little seal. That's a little blessing. That's a little celebration for you. But the Lord God says, no matter what you've been going through, you've been praying, but the Lord God says, score, touch town in the name of Jesus. It's good. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that God wants to encourage you and let you know that you must stay in the light. Yes. You must stay walking in the light. You know what? Jesus is the truth and the light. Amen. Yes. And whenever you walk in the light, the Lord God says He has real light for you, which is real fire, not false fire. Amen. Come on now. You have a lot of individuals that walk around with false fire. Jesus. Oh yeah, I'm preaching. Yeah, I'm stepping on some toes. Yes, yes. Lord, preach fast. The Lord God yes. says we're not preach walking past. around with false fire. We're talking around with real fire. Amen. 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 See, false fire will leave you in a heartbeat. Jesus. Ooh. Real fire gonna stay burning even when things get rough. It's still burning. Jesus. I'm like that, which I'm not going nowhere. Yes. False yes. fire. It look good. You see, that's the difference between the false fire and real fire. They both burn. Am I preaching to right now? They both burn. But the, after a little while, when things start getting rough, the wind start blowing, false fire begin to die out. They can't do nothing for you. Amen. But real fire, you know what? Them embers are still crackling. Amen. A little spark go hanging out. That's all you got to do if you really know about real fire. Anybody know how to light fire will operate a pit? You know, whenever things start, start to blow on it. That thing yes. saw that 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 thing saw that thing saw the light up. Am I preaching in the right house? Come on, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you get a fire that's burning, it begins to smother and go down a little bit. Start breathing. Yes. Yeah. All of a sudden, you'll get something to come out really, really beautiful. Preach like, fast. You know, the Holy Ghost. I don't. I don't want that at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, nothing but right the Lord. I thank you, Lord Ooh, God. Do you understand good, what right I mean? There. False fire will not stay there with you. Amen. False fire, the moment things get rough, false fire, you know what it'll do? It'll go out. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to keep you uh, trying to keep you on top of things to stay in Amen. the life because if you decide to pick up false fire, I'm gonna walk with false fire. False fire burning like real fire. Wait till things get rough. False fire will go out on you. Amen. No, no, you won't be able to, you can't stir it up, you can't light it up, you can't do anything with it, but throw it down. But real fire, it may crackle a little bit, may look like they're not there, but when you got some real fire, Amen. God does come through for you. Amen. Just Amen. in the nick of time. Yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus. I'm almost Lord. done, but I want you to yes, hang in there with me, people of God, because yes, God says He wants you to stay in the light. He doesn't Amen. want you to walk in darkness. He said He wants you to stay in light. In Romans 13, it says, Therefore, we are uh, therefore we are in darkness. Come on now. But you gotta put on the armor of light. Yes. Come on now. 
I bet you never heard of that armor. Come on now. Maybe Jesus. some of you have. Romans chapter 13. You know you put on the armor of God, but God said there's an armor of light you got to put on. Do you realize you can put on some light? Amen. Lord have mercy. Come on, give me, give me a minute. First pass. Romans chapter 13. Come on. That's New Testament. I told you you're going to be eating a lot tonight. It's all right. Hallelujah. New Testament, keep turning. Pass the Gospels. Hallelujah. Amen. Romans. Romans chapter... Chapter 13. Amen. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11, the Lord God says. It says, and do this knowing the time that now is at high time to awake out of your sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than we first believed. This is, this is my point right here. The night is far spent and the day is at hand. Therefore, let us Cast off the works of what darkness and put on what the armor of light. Yes, Lord. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in rivalry, not in drunkenness, not in lewdness, not in lust, not in strife, not in jealousy. My God, when you stay in the light, you don't have to walk after the flesh. Am I right about it? When you stay in the light, you're not, you don't worry about who's lying or who's gossiping because you're in the light. You don't worry about who's talking about you because you're in the light. Yes, Lord. You're not concerned about who's not happy with you because you're in the light. When you stay in the light, you don't be concerned about the things of the flesh. That's right. Look at that, because that we are walking in some days that are dark, people of God. Yeah. So what God says, put up, you don't get anything else tonight. The Lord God says, walk in the light, put on your arm of light. Put on your arm of light. Because there are some Ooh. things that are happening. There's some troubling times for you and your household. Yes. And your family. But you're going to put on the arm of light. I don't care what the I devil is doing. I don't care what the enemy is doing. When you got the arm of light up, you can keep on keeping on. You can pick them up and you just continue to walk because the decree and the cloud will stay in the light. Yes, Lord. Oh, not walk Lord. in the darkness. That's right. You will not be controlled by jealousy. Woo. Yes, Lord. Right. All right. You, you don't have to worry about those things. Drunkenness, loot. You don't have to worry about walking in and, and walking in lust and loot if you stay in your word. That's right. Jesus, preach past. Preach past. You don't have to worry about falling into that <laughs> lust or drunkenness. If you stay in your word, right. you stay in the light, you don't have a desire for that. Amen. And then all of a sudden, I don't know about you, but whenever you got saved, you changed partners. That's yeah. right. Amen, <laughs> amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You no longer, you no longer swing, now you just dance. Hey. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> See, whenever you was in the world, you used to, what we call it? Now that you're with the Lord, you just learned how to dance. That's right. You know the different, oh, help me, hold on. Yes, Lord. Let me preach something to you. Whenever, whenever you learn how to dance, because the difference between a swing and a dance. Right. Let me help you, Holy Ghost. That's right. The difference between a swing and a dance. You see, a swing, they're just all over the place. But when you dance, uh, that means somebody got to leave. And you got to follow. Amen, Jesus. When God is dancing with it, He's your guidance. God, Amen. you and you're I change dance. For you. yes, that means He's going to lead you this way. You know, you don't be, you can't lead if you're going to dance with God. Ooh, you got to follow. Jesus. Anybody trying to lead, you might as well go back to the swing. Amen. Preach oh, yes. yes. Out and amen. If you want to lead, you might as well go back to your swing. Because I'm going to tell you, because disobedience, you know, if you love God, you must be obedient. Amen. Right. Amen. If you want to dance with God, that means He lead you follow. Amen. That means not my will, but thy will be done. Amen. That's what I like and whatever you like. I don't want to go, but Lord, don't tell me to go, but Lord. Yes. I don't want to do it, but Lord, because you tell me to do it, I'm yes. going to do it. Yes. Preach, Pastor. Preach. Not my will, but thy will be done. Yes. Jesus. That sounds like a who just decided that, you know, I'm staying in the light. Yes. Lord. And God, that you can dance. I didn't know that there's a famous song, and I'm almost, it's, it's, it's called Jesus Take the Wheel. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Some of you need to let him take the wheel. Yes, Lord. Because you didn't cause a wreck. <laughs> Am I preaching up in the right house? Oh, yeah. You was trying to drive, yes, trying to run your relationship, right. and you ran a dead in the ditch. Amen. First pass. Ouch and amen. Oh, look, you're not by yourself. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Hello, amen. look. Amen. I hit it up too. <laughs> but when I stopped trying to drive, yes, that's right. And I became a passenger. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. First pass, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Well, you talk about a nice ride. Yes, yes. Because you 
ain't got none of that smooth. pressure because you know what? <laughs> if God is in control Ooh. of it, what are you sweating for? Amen, yes, amen. God said it's for you, it's for you. The what amen. are you sweating for? Preach, Pastor, preach. And you're the co-pilot. That's good. He gonna make sure you have a safe place. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Lord God, how long? How long has it been? I haven't done it. The Lord God said, "You know what? Today is not too late." Yes. 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 Today can be the day. Hey. My God. If you were walking in darkness when you came in here, well, welcome to the light. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We gonna change your address. 